Okay, we are going to use the stamp game to demonstrate how to divide a large problem, 3,743, being divided by 26. So if we think of this as a partition division problem, we want 26 sets, and we want to find out how many we can put in each of those sets equally from 3,743. So first we're going to create our sets. We have two 20s and six ones. And what we need to remember when we're parceling out our pieces of the 3,743 is that the 10s are 10 times the ones. Therefore, if we put a 1,000 stamp marker in the ones, we need to be able to put a 10,000 in to the tens. Or if we have a 100 in the ones, then a 1,000 in the tens. We have 100 in the tens, a 1 in the ones, and so forth. So now we're going to build out our number of 3,743. We have 3,000. 700. That's not the one I wanted. That's six, seven. We need four tens and three ones. And now what we're going to do is start sharing them out equally. So we can put 1,000 in each of these places, and then share out these 100s. All right, and now we can see that we aren't going to be able to put any more 1,000s in, for we don't have enough 1,000s to share out equally any further. So what we want to do is record this step. So we have used one one hundred right here and we have reduced three thousand seven hundred forty three by two thousand six hundred so we're going to subtract yeah, which leaves us with eleven hundred forty three okay now we'll go on to our next one so what we're going to need to do is start with 100, which means we're going to have to exchange this 1,000 for 10 hundreds and see where we go from there. So we now have the two hundreds here and now these in the groups of one, they're just a 10. And now we've run out of tens, so we'll take one one hundred and exchange it for a group of ten tens. And we will continue sharing out. All right, now we're running out of tens again, so we're going to, again, exchange a 100 for a group of 10 tens, and continue sharing these out. Okay, and so now we can tell that we're not going to be able to do any more with the hundreds because we don't have enough to share between the two sets that, that each hold 10. So we are going to record what we've done here, and we've now used four sets of 10s. Well, we've used four 10s for each of these groups. So we're going to mark that here, and then we need to subtract it from here. So what we have are four columns, and each of these columns have 260. So if we multiply 
260 by 4, that's 200 times 4 is 800, and 60 times 4 is 240, so together that's 1,040 that we've parceled out. So what we have left, and we can see it right here, is 103. Now we can still separate this out further by exchanging this 100 for 10 tens. And seeing where we go from here. So if we have tens here, now we need to put ones. And it looks like we'll have to exchange a ten for a group of ten ones. There we go. Let's see, can we do it one more time? Oops, pardon me. That's not right. There we go. Looks like we can do another. And that we're going to have to exchange another set of tens. So we'll exchange. Those tens for ten ones. Keep sharing them out. Now let's see, can we make it one last time? Nope, we cannot. We are one short of being able to share that last group evenly. So I'm going to move these over. I'm going to attempt to move these over. There we go. Alright. So what we've just done is three ones. Which is what we have here. And that's 26 and each one. So we've used uh, 26 times 3 is 20 times 3 is 60 and 6 times 3 is 18. So that's 78. And then if we do our subtraction, okay, we're going to need to exchange all the way over here. Remove that 100 to add to this 10. And then we will still have to exchange a 10 into our 1's place to be able to subtract 8 from 13, which is 5. And 9 minus 7 is 2. So that gives us a remainder of 25. Is that what we have left? 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 26 groups of 143. And we'll have 25 left over.